system quasi equilibrium process mein rahegi so in that case only we have to find out this boundary work so ye aap yaad rakhiyega bahut hi important hai quasi equilibrium process hone chahiye so let us uh, consider that initially the there is the pressure is p1 and p1 so now uh, let us consider that there is the expansion is Uh, uh, forming in this process, so a piston will move uh, uh, outward. So new position, let us consider that is your P two, B two. So here I have shown the uh, expansion process, so PV process, okay. the PV diagram. So there is the uh, process uh, is from one to two. expansion process so the, there is the state change so state change will from the uh, point 1 to point 2 okay so suppose uh, we are considering any intermediate point so let us consider that here so in this case your pressure is your v and let us consider that uh, volume is your v okay so the piston is uh, moving in in fine Night decimal distance. Let us consider that uh, distance is your d n. Then uh, we can write that uh, force acting. On the piston is. F. F, okay. So force yeah, acting on the piston is it is a multiplication of pressure and area. So let us consider A is your uh, piston area and uh, P is your pressure acting on the surface of your piston. Okay. so total uh, pressure acting on the uh, surface of the piston so uh, in case of uh, any intermediate point we are considering this situation so then f is equal to p into a where your a is your piston area so in this case uh, we can write that in finite decimal what term is d w so it is it uh, we can write like this uh, d w but actually it is the inexact uh, differential later on i will discuss so d w is your f into d l so f is how much f is your p into a into d l okay so here uh, a d a a into d l means it is your d v that is your volume okay so small volume change so we can write that p d v okay so d w is now is equal to p d v so where your uh, d v is your a into d a okay so then we can consider that your uh, total amount of work done <coughs> by the gas is gas is nothing but it is the system okay is so mm, there uh, is the state change uh, from 1 to 2 okay so we will take the integration of this process that is your uh, v1 to v2 This is your P D V. Or simply we can write one to two P D V. So your displacement work is nothing but it is the integration of your P D V. That is your pressure and volume change. Okay. So integration of your P D V uh, can be uh, performed any quasi static path. As I have already told you, it is the uh, uh, this boundary work is. Uh, when we are considering the boundary work or displacement uh, work, and in that case, the process will be 
was equilibrium process and that path which uh, it is following the transformation of work so that is known as your quasi static path so it is possible in case of the quasi static path only okay so uh, here the meaning is that integration of a pdf can be performed only in case of your uh, quasi static path so magnitude of your work done is given in this case so also we can find out the magnitude of work uh, is uh, nothing but it is the area under this path okay so in that way also we can say that uh, it is the uh, area under the curve is the, the work done in the path okay so now we will discuss the path function and point function Ma'am, your voice. I'm not speaking actually, I'm trying. I'm going to do a previous slide one. Okay. So now I'm going to discuss the path function and point function. Uh, so why we are discussing here? So sometimes we are saying that uh, your uh, work is a uh, work uh, is yeah, a path function. Okay. So how? Uh, um, we are telling us the work is a uh, work function, a uh, path function that I'm going to discuss here. So here you can observe that uh, um, there is the expansion work. So pressure is uh, reducing in this case from P1 to P2. Okay, so state one, the system is changing uh, state one to state two by following the three different paths. So one is uh, A, another one is the B, uh, third one is the C. So system uh, we can take from state one to state two uh, um, along uh, many quasi static paths. Uh, those are your A, B, C. Okay. So here we can see that uh, work work involved in in each case is not a 
function of your end state how sometimes uh, uh, we are finding the work output that is uh, the area under this curve so hum work transfer kahan se nikal rahe hain ye area under this curve means this part ke niche jo area hai usi ko hum work output bolte hain right so if you are observing here there is a three different quasi static part one is the a b and last one is the c so in each case the area under the path is not same okay so in this case we are getting the less work whereas we are getting the more work in case of your c path okay so uh, from this we can draw the conclusion that your work transfer is not depend upon your end state that is your point 1 uh, and point 2 but it will depends upon the path through which the system is taken from 1 to 2 so that's why your work transfer is um, depend upon your Uh, sometimes uh, work is called as the path function okay so whereas your uh, pressure and volume those are point function okay so here i can uh, uh, say that work involved in each case is not the function of your end state of the process it depends upon your path mm, in which your system is going from point 1 to point 2 or state 1 to state 2 so that's why your work is called as uh, path function okay so in this case your dw is your in exact differential so we are uh, putting a cot mark in case of your d so by this uh, we uh, by doing this we can uh, say that the work is a point function so what is the meaning of our d bar d w it is your in exact or imperfect mam again it got please it is breaking my voice is breaking my voice is clear mam the slide is clear now it came now it is visible yes yes sir okay i don't know what is happening sometimes okay so um, in another way we can say that uh, dw integration is not equal to w2 minus w1 okay so it is uh, 1 to 2 of dw we can represent in terms of the 1 to 2 w1 to okay so um, um, in this way we can represent your work okay as your work is a path function it will depend upon your path it will not depend upon your end states so aap isko aise bhi kar sakte hain area under this uh, path b is this much okay in this way you can represent okay but in case of your thermodynamic properties all properties are your point function so i can write here because in this case uh, in this case in properties case at each state you will have the definite value okay so we will have the definite values of 
each properties here we are getting the p1 also we are getting the b1 so in this case we can say properties are point function so if you are finding the integration of your properties then it will give you the definite values that is your integration of dv is equal to v2 minus v1 okay so that's why we are not putting any cut mark above uh, this uh, d uh, to um, say that uh, it is the point function if it is a path function then you have to put the cut mark above the d okay so in this case it is uh, the path function and in this case it is the point function so another thing you have to remember uh, that is your uh, cyclic integral of a ma'am ma your slide gets freezed and previous one also when you change the slide then it can be visible now is it visible Ma'am, it is visible like previous one when you were explaining the slide was freezed, but when you changed, then the things which you wrote came to us visible. And so, after that, you don't understand when you are reading, then you don't see. So, restart. Yeah, if you see it, then we will restart the system. Okay. Ma'am, the last slide was explained. Okay, the last slide is that I was discussing with you the path function and point function. I think. Up to this, uh, you have under, understood area under this curve or this path is not same for all the uh, quasi-static path. That is your path A, path B, and path C. So that's why we can say that your work transfer is not dependent upon the state of the system. Okay. So it will depend upon the path of the system. Path. Uh, means ये जो path follow करके पहुंच रही है state one से state two तक वो path के ऊपर आपका word transfer depend कर रहा है means कितना word transfer हो रहा है is it visible मैम पिछला slide खुला ही पिछला slide नहीं दिख रहा मैम आगे नहीं आ रहा दिख रहा है please give me some time let me restart the system Now is it visible? No, no. No, no. No. Okay, let me start. I will join again, okay?
Is my screen visible now? I don't know. Maybe um, it is issue with the Google Meet class today. Okay. So let me explain this one again. Uh, if it is not visible, then inform me. I will stop this class today. Okay, so I will continue from Wednesday. So uh, now I'm going to discuss about this uh, path function and point function. Here, whatever I have discussed, just uh, I'm telling you again. So I have taken the uh, system from state one to state two by following three different paths. These all paths are known as your quasi static path. Okay. Ma'am, Ma you're, you're on the Ma PowerPoint one or. Actually, I, I have clicked it here only. I don't know. What is it? That is visible? I don't know. What is the issue? Is it visible? I don't know. What is the issue? 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 I don't know. I don't know what is the issue. Maybe it is issue with your uh, Google Meet. I don't know. But it is, in my system, it is uh, okay. This yes, slide one here. The idea? Yes, ma'am. Slide one. Fourth thing. Fourth one. Fourth thing. Slide four. Slide four me up to three. Up three. Kissy, you have to make it to five. Five may give me. Four me to me. Four me to me. Okay. If you delete it, you can see it. You can see it. You can see No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. अब तो दिख रही है ना जो मैं ड्रॉ कर रही हूं दिख रही है नो मैम स्लाइड जी बैठ का है नहीं नो मैम कुछ ही बैठ का फ्रीज हो गया अच्छा तो भी दिक्कत हो रहा है कुछ इस वजह आप लोग कुछ सलूशन दो मुझे पता नहीं क्यों फ्रीज हो रहा है सपोज करते हैं फिर से करते हैं अब आया नो मैम तीन नंबर पे ही है अभी तो नो मैम ओके आई विल स्टार्ट अनदर पीपीटी देन And sometimes it happens like when presenting on Google Meet, it lags. Hmm. No, today is the only you have uh, joined 90 students, I think. Total 86 students are there. Sometimes uh, people are joining uh, up to 100, 103. That time it is not happening. I don't know. Maybe some issue with Google Meet itself. Okay. 
Is it reasonable? Okay. Is it okay now? So again, I'm going to discuss this one. Uh, let us consider the system we have taken from state one to state two by following three different quasi static paths. Uh, those are your A, B, and C. So we are finding the work output uh, by integrating the uh, PDV. And another method is that uh, you have to uh, find the area under this path. So when we are finding the area under this uh, path, uh, that time we are uh, uh, finding out that uh, integration of uh, uh, PDV into 1 to 2. In this case also, we are uh, finding out the work uh, transfer is integration of your PDV. Though the equation are same, but uh, as for this uh, figure, we can say that the area uh, under each path are not same. So in that case, we can say that uh, the work transfer is depend upon the path. It will not depend upon the end point of the states or of the process. Okay, so that's why I have written there the work is called as a path function. So in this case, uh, we are uh, putting a cut mark above the D and uh, this term we are t telling us uh, in exact or imperfect integration. Why we are uh, in sorry imperfect differential? So in this case, uh, suppose uh, we are integrating this D W uh, and that limit is from one to two, then it will not give you the difference of your work at the end stand and difference of the work uh, of the end state. So it is not equal to integration of the dw is not equal to the w2 minus w1. Okay, so it is uh, equal to your 1 to 2 dw. We can write like this w1 to 2. So here we can say it is not depend upon the end point. It will depend upon the Path. So work is your uh, path function, whereas your thermodynamic properties are point function. Okay. So in this case, uh, the differential are uh, exact type or perfect differential. So when we are integrating those uh, properties, so it will be uh, equal to V2 minus V1. So that, that's why these thermodynamic properties are known as your point function. Those properties are definite values at the end state. So at the state one, we are having the properties values P1 and V1. It will have the definite values so for that reason, we are able to integrate and we are finding out the values. 
So similarly, in the case of rent step two, that is uh, uh, the property values are your P2 and V2, it will have the definite values. So thermodynamic properties uh, 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 are a point function and we can say that these are uh, dv is your exact or perfect differential okay so next uh, we will discuss the cyclic integral this point you have to remember cyclic integral Graph of a property is always zero. Okay, so this uh, we can write like this uh, TV. We, we are putting one cycle or um, zero or round in this case, and we can write like this TV in cyclic integral is equal to zero. Similarly, cyclic integral of your dp is equal to zero. And cyclic integral of your dt is equal to zero. So it is applicable only for the cyclic process. Okay. Cyclic process means in this case, suppose uh, we are uh, considering the process A, where your system is going from uh, 1 to 2. Again, suppose it is returning from 2 to 1 by following the path C. So we are um, putting a mark like this. So it will form a cycle. That means in this case, your initial uh, state uh, will become the final state. So in that case, if you are finding the integration of any property, that will give you the zero values okay so this is all about your path and point function now we will find out the pdv work or displacement work or uh, boundary work in Various static process. Okay, so first one is your boundary work for a constant volume process. So first one is your boundary work for your constant volume process. If you are uh, considering the um, system which is, uh, uh, we are taking the system from uh, one to two, in case of the constant volume process, then it will look like this. It is the state one of the system. It is the final state of the system, okay. So in this case, we are having the uh, work output is equal to your zero. Wow. So constant volume process means so, um, we are also telling it as the isochoric process. <coughs> so in this case, if you are finding out the integration of uh, your work output and it will give you the uh, one to two PDB. So what transfer we were writing like this W12 is equal to integration of the DW is equal to integration of your PDB. Okay, so W12 is nothing but it is the uh, it is the volume change, right? So we can write it like this P into V2 minus V1. So in this case V1 is equal to V2, so your word transfer will be zero. Okay, so it is your boundary work for a constant volume process. I think all of you have an idea about this. So next one is the uh, boundary work. <coughs> oh. 
constant pressure process. <coughs> it is also known as your isovaric process. Let us uh, consider that uh, we have taken the system from state 1 to state 2. Okay, so there is uh, the property change from <coughs> um, state 1 to state 2. So we have to find out uh, what is the word transfer in this case. So it is your uh, area under this path is much easier word transfer. <coughs> okay. So in case of the ISO body process, we have considered the uh, pressure is the constant. Okay, so there is the volume change from V1 to V2. Okay, so this one I have considered the uh, expansion process. So that's why uh, your volume is increasing, but pressure is your constant. So in this case, your work transfer will be one to two. <coughs> Simply the pressure is constant, it is the volume change V2 minus V1, right? It is your forward transfer. Now consider the isothermal process. What done? Or boundary work. Whatever maybe you can write like uh, right here. Okay. So in case of the isothermal process, it uh, it will follow the relation that is your PV equal to constant. Okay. So uh, in case of the ideal gas, so uh, at constant temperature, ideal gas. This relation will be PV equal to MRT0 into C. It is the uh, uh, R is the uh, characteristic uh, gas general constant, M is the mole of the gas. Okay, so it is equal to C, which is your constant. So in this case, you have to find out what is your work done work output or work transfer. So let us uh, draw this diagram, PV diagram. <coughs> I'm considering the expansion work only. <coughs> we are, we, the change of state is from one to two. So in case of the isothermal process, uh, this will be PV equal to constant. P1, P2, P1, P2. So why we, uh, this uh, gap we are taking? This gap is uh, in case of the piston cylinder arrangement only. So this is your uh, clearance volume. Means uh, all of you know that uh, clearance volume means it is the volume uh, occupied by the gas during the compression process at near to the depth dead center or topmost position of the cylinder head. So during the uh, discussion of your uh, uh, auto cycle and diesel cycle there I will uh, tell you. Uh, for uh, just now only you uh, remember that uh, this position we have uh, kept for the clearance volume. So that's why we are starting the system from state 1 to state 2 instead of starting from the uh, origin or axis itself. So uh, this is the axis to touch the cake, one in here. So this is the gap that you have clearance volume. Ka reta hai. In case of the piston cylinder arrangement. So here uh, we, uh, we know that uh, what is the work transport that is the W12 is equal to uh, it is the integration of the uh, system where uh, we have um, 
changing the uh, process or uh, changing the system or uh, state of the system from one to two. This is the PDB. So W one two we can write that uh, one to two. Um, in this case, uh, P के जगह में हम ये लिख सकते हैं P is equal to C by B. Okay. So instead of uh, P, we can write that B by C into D B. Again, when we are integrating, I can write like this: one to two D B by B. So integration of this one will give you the. Ma'am, C by B. C by B. Sorry. Okay, okay. मैं यहाँ उल्टा लिखी हूँ सॉरी So instead of uh, P, I can write that it is the C by P into D P. So if we are taking uh, C uh, outside, then it will be the D P by uh, D P upon B. Then uh, W one two, we can write that C is the uh, W one two is equal to C. Uh, integration of this one will be um, C lamb. B two by B one. Okay, so this is the work transfer in case of the isothermal process. Then what is the C? C already we have taken. It is the B V. So in case of the state one, this will be the B one B one. And in case of the uh, state two, this will be the B two B two. So in this case, uh, I can write that uh, C is Uh, your P one P one in multiplied with L n P two upon P one. So it is your work transfer in case of the isothermal process. So it this one is the boundary work. Okay. So isothermal process is nothing but it is the quasi static process. So in case of the quasi static process, the boundary work will be the Uh, quasi static isothermal process the boundary work will be the w12 uh, is equal to p1 v1 multiplied with ln v2 upon v1 okay so next one is your polytropic process ye hai aapka expansion process hua okay so uh, we have written like this uh, we can write uh, like this also w12 is equal to p1 v1 ln p1 upon p2 okay so sometimes uh, we can write like this also w12 is equal to your mr t1 into ln b2 upon b1 or it may be the ln p1 upon p2 so we can write like write like this also it is the displacement work of the isothermal process So next one is the polytropic process. Polytropic process. Okay. 
so polytropic uh, process is nothing but it is the actual process actual process or uh, actual expansion process we can say actual expansion and compression process process of system okay so in this case the pressure volume relation we are uh, co uh, correlating with this relation that is your pv to the power n equal to constant where n and c both are constant so n is not known as your exponent okay so n is your exponent so these n values will vary that is from minus infinity to your plus infinity depending upon your different process different process means whether it is your uh, um, isochoric process whether it is your isobaric process whether uh, it is your uh, isothermal process so these n values will vary uh, from minus infinity to uh, plus infinity okay depend depending on the particular process so let us draw this pv diagram So this this is your polytropic process. So here I have shown only the expansion process. If it is the compression process, then it will go from the uh, state two to state one. Okay. So it is your uh, compression process. So in this case, compression process, your pressure will increase, your volume will decrease. In case of the expansion process, your volume will increase, but. Uh, um, um, in this case, your uh, volume will uh, decrease, uh, sorry, increase and uh, pressure will reduce. Okay. So that is your expansion process. So if you are observing here, one to two is nothing but it is your isochoric process. In this case, your n value will be the infinity. Okay. So here you are observing that it is the uh, isobaric process. In this case, n will be equal to zero. So how we are getting that one, uh, I will discuss here. So in case of the polytropic process, as I have already told, you, already told you, it will follow this relation, pv to the power n equal to constant, n is your exponent. So this equation we can write like this, p1, v1 to the power n equal to p2, v2 to the power n is equal to c and this will be equal to mr t0 if it is a uh, constant temperature or if simply it is the t okay so then uh, to find out the word transfer i can write like this w12 uh, is, is equal to integration of your uh, pdv okay so here also instead of the c i can write like this I can write that uh, uh, C B minus N into D B, right? C upon B, C upon B to the power N. So that one is your C B uh, to the power minus N multiplied with D B. So we have to find out this integration. This, then this integration will be like this C okay multiplied with this will be your b2 
minus n plus one minus v one minus n plus one upon minus n plus one. Okay. So this will be constant if I multiply here, then it will give you the p two v two minus p one v one upon one minus n. Then your polytropic process uh, what uh, transfer will be equal to W12 is equal to P2 V2 minus P1 V1 upon 1 minus N. This one also we can write like this 1 2 MR T2 minus T1 upon 1 minus N. So this is your robot transfer in the polytropic process. Please uh, solve one problem. So as a result of heat transfer, <coughs> ma'am, we have a class, ma'am. At one p.m. Yes, yeah, ma'am. We have to be ready. I know it. Yes, you have to be ready. Plus, please wait for this one. I'll take only five minutes. Okay, keep this. Um, please give this answer. Answer DJ is come. I question. I will copy it. Okay. Uh, it is it 10 contents air at 500 kilopascal and 150 degrees Celsius. As a result of heat transfer to the surrounding, the temperature and pressure inside the tank dropped to 65 degrees Celsius to uh, 400 kilopascal, respectively. Determine the PDP work. Okay, I think a lot of you have written this one. Now, let's solve it. Who has solved it quickly, let's solve it. Who has solved it quickly, let's solve it. Can you give me the answer? Okay, 
Tell me what is the answer. So here the system uh, we have taken from state one to two. So there is the decrease in pressure as well as the temperature. So initially the pressure was 500 kilopascal per 150 degrees Celsius. Uh, in state two, there is the temperature is 65 degrees Celsius and pressure is 400 kilopascal. So what will be the bottom? And polytropic constant in India and okay. N is equal to one. Kisko Jaldi thi jo bol rahi thi ki class hai bolke bolye. It is 12.15 now, I think. Num, N equals to 1. Yes. And then it will be that, right? Isothermal will be that. The temperature will change, so N1 will be that. Okay, that's right. Okay. Uh, who can give this answer? Ma'am, rigid is the work done. Yes, DB is 0. It will be 0, ma'am. Very good. Uh, Rama Vata, right? And Akkip Sarkar. These two have given the correct answer. So the diagram which I have uh, drawn that I, I have drawn to confuse you because it is the rigid tank so there is no change in volume. Okay, so the dB will be zero. So there is the word transfer is your W12 will be zero. Okay, so what is your roll number? Both of you. Tell me. 92. Ankit Sarkar and Ram Ramavatar. What is your roll number? I'm 92. Okay, 92. 92 and 102. Thank you. Okay. So Jyoti Kumari, where are you? Your CR is there or select? Yes, ma'am. You are here. So, who are the next uh, CR? Apa kele ho ya or koi hai? No, ma'am. They are also joining. Ritika, you send me your email ID to my WhatsApp. Okay? So, I will not communicate with you, Tikumari. Thank you all. And send me the uh, today's attendance. Thank you all. Ma'am? Okay. Tell me, Anki. No, 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 Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. You may leave the meeting.